in the Red Deer River on a trout magnet. I don't even know what to say. I'm like crazy happy. When you're fishing with Bobby. I want to talk about this rod. I'm running my Syncopate 1000 on it. This rod is so light. It reminds me when I was a kid and uh, you had that Asian buddy that had that badminton racket with nothing to it. I believe this is carbon fiber. But more importantly, what I wanted to say is just thank you. I've been avoiding using this if you're the guy that sent it to me. Emotionally, I just couldn't use it. Uh, to let you guys know what happened is I got a message on Instagram saying, hey, we want to send you something. And what it was is from someone anonymous, I got this fishing rod and it said, hey Paul, we saw your Bow River fishing video where your rod broke. We also saw on Facebook that your mom passed away. I hope this rod makes you feel better. And it really did. It really did, I just haven't been able to use it, but we are today. I love this rod. It's an amazing rod. It has the tiniest little eyelets along the top just tiny but it just casts so smooth i'm running six pound uh tri line we're gonna go with the trout magnets today at a proven spot this is a just a proven little honey hole for brown trout and gold eye so i'm not gonna have any big panning wide shots there's not much i could do because it's off my phone i wasn't planning on this video but let's get at her <laughs> fish will paul be oh hit the subscribe button if you don't mind Fish will probably be, baby. <laughs> it's a little noisy because the train's going over. But here's the product we're going to use today. This is the Trope Magnet Kit. And something else I'm going to do, I'm going to try this water-filled clear float in today's application. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the Trope Magnets. Here, let's open that up so you guys can see them. So there's really not a lot to these little guys. It's basically really tiny little jig heads and uh, little cut-off soft plastics. And everybody just swears by the way it wiggles, the little the little split tail. I'm gonna start with brass. We're gonna run this under the float, try to figure out the depth so we're just off the bottom. And we're gonna be going through this beautiful little run in front of me. Let's see if we catch the fish. So the cool thing with this float that's hard to show you with one hand is the lid comes up. It's on a little piece of surgical tubing, but you can fill this with water to get some weight. And then you just spin that. The surgical tubing will, will pinch my line and uh, hold it wherever I want it. So let's do that because I am filming with one hand and then um, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, come on, focus. Now there's water in there, it's pretty heavy. If you guys can see that surgical tubing is twisted and it doesn't want to move down the line. What we're gonna do down from there is just run our trout magnet. All right, so float, trout magnet. Got about three feet between the float and the trout magnet. You can see the float. I'm gonna need two hands for this, but there's the drift. I'm just running it through there. All right, there you go. On the float, just in the water in front of me. And I'm gonna, yeah, that was just sitting in this calm water and then down went the float. Let's see, I don't think we got a trout. Uh, it is. It is a walleye? What, what the hell? No way. I just caught a walleye in the Red Deer River on a trout magnet. I don't even know what to say. I've never caught a walleye here ever. Oh, I am like crazy happy. I don't even know what to say. And that's a good walleye. That's not a bad walleye. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just caught a walleye. Let's do that again. <sighs> okay, I was having no luck. Let's go in the sunlight here. I was having no luck after I caught that walleye. I tried chartreuse yellow, nothing. And then I switched over to this here, gold on gold. And uh, right away, caught a little gold eye. We'll try again. I picked up the phone. It was sitting in the sun. It said, iPhone, temperature too hot. So let's get back out here, catch another fish. But we're gonna leave my phone in the shade this time. <laughs> no, look at that. All right, so the trope magnet works on gold eye as well. <laughs> fish with Paul B, baby. Little gold trope magnet, gold eye. Let's get him back in the water. So, if you guys are wondering if trope magnets work, so far, bubblegum caught a walleye, pink caught nothing, chartreuse caught nothing, little gold one as soon as you hit the water. Let's try that again. Oh, yep. lost them. So we're going to call it a day, but I noticed something down from me, and I like when I'm at a 
fish a spot like this. If you keep your eyes peeled. Come, oh, <laughs> just what I was talking about. I was looking at that. That caught my eye. I don't know what it is. But then, right up ahead of us, you see it? Look at that. Not a bad little score. And then I noticed something else. Look there. All right, score. Oh, gee. Oh, <laughs> man. Kind of like it. Look at that. Just in like 10 feet along the riverbank. I think we'll go for a little walk, see what we can find. Yeah. Some power bait. Some more power bait, and they're full. <laughs> and a Rapala X Rap. Not bad. If I want them, look at this. Oh, geez. Standing on it. Ha. Bet you there's more. Hmm. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, jeez. I was just reaching out for the pliers. Look there. Another one. Somebody must have dropped their tackle box in this area. <sighs> Got a used rubber. Those are always excellent finds at the river. Thank you to whoever did that. Here's an odd find. Look at that. And look at that. It's so weird. Pretty swampy over here. Guess I could use this guy as a bridge. I hope. Uh, pill bottles. Uh, keep that for the parts box. Ratchet strap. Oh, look at the bag. All right. Let's do that. Oh, a good idea putting hooks in your pocket, I guess. <laughs> All right. This way. Let me find another fishing hole down here. Another one. Yeah. Huh. Let's put it in there. What's that? You found my stuff. Oh, is this yours? Yeah. Is that your bike stuff too? Yeah. That's cool, man. Oh. You got quite a cool little setup back there, eh? Yeah. Okay, we cut that short. Uh, while I was walking around looking for lures, I bumped into kind of a homeless guy living in the bush. Had a bunch of lures stuck in my pocket. Uh, it looked like someone had gone through his stuff. He was pretty upset, and I think he thought I did because he said, "Hey, where's my stuff?" And he was getting a little aggressive, a little kind of, a little medicated is a good way to put it. So we talked for a little bit. I kept my distance. Every time I turned to walk away, he kind of walked with me. Uh, I knew Wendy was back at the truck, so I told him, "Hey, have a good day." Walk back. Was getting Wendy, and then boom, right behind me. He shows up again, and then he's just selling fly out into the air and stuff. And I said to Wendy, go get in the truck. And I kind of hung back, collected my stuff. So he's living under the train bridge, but back in the bushes, whole bunch of obviously stolen stuff back there, stripped wires. But uh, I got a bunch of fishing lures in a bag. and So good day all in all. Caught two gold eye, a walleye using the trout magnets. Uh, caught a gold eye using my peanut butter. Yeah, I found a whole bunch of lures. They're gonna need some new hooks. and. As you can see there, I'm gonna need some new lining for my pocket, but just a good run and gun fisher trip on the way home. So guys, of course, boop, boop, hit that one, the subscribe button right there. And then uh, I like it if you guys would bing, 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 hit that bell. And then at the end of the video, when you see my ugly mug, watch this, right? All right oh. When you see something that looks like that, you just click on it, that's the actual subscribe button. Fish with Paul B, baby. Got a bit of a tippy road to get out of here. This is what I'm talking about. If you weren't watching, you never would have noticed this little trail off the highway because there's a median above us. But uh, pay attention. When you see tire tracks heading down to a river, there's usually a good reason. So it's always worth exploring. You know, sometimes you find a good fisher hole. Sometimes you find a crazy homeless guy. Sometimes you find a bunch of fish and lures. Sometimes you find all of the above. But life wouldn't be any fun if it wasn't an adventure.